book recommendations in the history genre. Guns, Germs and Steel – The Fates of Human Societies by J.R. Diamond J.R. Diamond is a biologist who had a passion for studying birds, particularly the birds of New Guinea. But as he came to know and appreciate the many native people he met in his work, the question asked by a New Guinean remained with him. Why was it that Westerners had so much relative to New Guinean natives, who had been living on that land for 40,000 years? Diamond decided to find out. Was one group of people smarter than another? Why was there such dimorphism in the amount of cargo produced and toted by different groups? He offers a stunning analysis of why civilization emerged in the places in which it did. Occasionally in life you can feel a book shifting the way you see the world, shifting what you thought you knew about the world. This book did that to me. Guns, Germs and Steel was awarded the Pulitzer Prize. There is also an awesome documentary based on this book. It is available on YouTube and you can find its link in the description of this video. Mapping Human History by Steve Olson In a journey across four continents, acclaimed science writer Steve Olson traces the origins of modern humans and the migrations of our ancestors throughout the world over the past 150,000 years. Drawing on a wide range of sources including the latest genetic research, linguistic evidence and archaeological findings, Olson reveals the surprising unity among modern humans. Olson provides startling new perspectives on the invention of agriculture, the peopling of the Americas, the origins of language, the history of the Jews, and more. Mapping human history will forever change how we think about ourselves and our relations with others. Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Harari 100,000 years ago, at least six human species inhabited the Earth. Today, there is just one us, Homo sapiens. How did our species succeed in the battle for dominance? Why did our foraging ancestors come together to create cities and kingdoms? How did we come to believe in gods, nations and human rights to trust money, books and laws? In sapiens, Harari spans the whole of human history from the very first humans to walk the earth to the radical and sometimes devastating breakthroughs of the cognitive, agricultural and scientific revolutions. I especially like how Harari presents a relatively unbiased view of events. He focuses on what we know and is quick to say when something remains a mystery to biologists and anthropologists. This book filled me with a sense of wonder. Wonder at how far we have come. Wonder at all the twisting roads of history. Wonder at where we could possibly end up. The World is Flat, A Brief History of the 21st Century when scholars write the history of the world in years from now, what will they say was the most crucial development? The attacks on the World Trade Center on 9-11 and the Iraq War or the convergence of technology and events that allowed India, China and so many other countries to become part of the global supply chain for services and manufacturing, creating an explosion of wealth in the middle classes of the world's two biggest nations, giving them a huge new stake in the success of globalization. In this brilliant book, the award-winning New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman explains how the flattening of the world happened at the dawn of the 21st century, what it means to the countries, companies, communities and individuals. This book released in 2006 but still is an interesting read as we have been part of this history. These Truths, A History of the United States by Jill Lepore it is a massive book, 932 pages to be specific. It is a beautifully written new history of the United States from Columbus to the age of Trump. The depth of Lepore's research is nothing less than astounding. The United States has a complex history, marked by moments of selfless sacrifice and great triumph, but marred by injustice and tragedy as well. This book will appeal to large numbers of readers looking for a fresh look at the history of the American people and also the challenges that we face today. I highly recommend this book. I hope you like these recommendations. Happy reading.